Ooh, I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place. I'm kind of hoping that there is a mound of Rice Krispies in there or that you've made like a Rice Krispie noodle. Comment below if you want a Rice Krispie noodle. That's our engagement play. If I were stranded on a desert island and I didn't have anything with me and like this was my life preserver. Wow, this is badass. And that's what I know about cast iron pans. So you are so welcome. There you go. <laughs> Hi, thank you so much for watching. My name is Jonathan. You gotta look at the camera. This is Noodle, and this, all of this, is Tools of the Trade. The show where we uh, find out what tools everyday entrepreneurs need to get through their day. This week, we are featuring a box curated by Jessica Siskin. Now, Jessica is this absolutely amazing woman who founded Mr. Crisp. You can look her up at Mr. Crisp on Instagram. It is a Rice Krispie business. If you look at her Instagram or you go to her website, you will see all of her beautiful, beautiful creations. And it's one of those things where you think, it's a Rice Krispie. I've had Rice Krispie before. Those are pretty casual. I wonder how you can make a business out of them. Do yourself a favor and look at her Instagram. Uh, she's also the author of Treat Yourself, a book that details a bunch of different Rice Krispie projects that you can make at home. We're so excited to be going through this box today. Jessica, I cannot wait to see what you prepared for us. Like, what, is a, what does a Rice Krispie savant need in there every day? I'm kind of hoping that there is a mound of Rice Krispies in there or that you've made like a Rice Krispie noodle. I think it would sell really well. Comment below if you want a Rice Krispie noodle. That's our engagement play. Okay, so let's see what's in this box. I'm already into it. I'm gonna take these because I just needed to pick these up after work today. <laughs> so the first item we have in the Jessica Sister box are uh, Swiffer Wet Jet uh, Replaceable Mopping Pads. I love these for a couple of reasons. First of all, they are just like wonderful. If you guys have not wet jetted before, let me tell you, there are very few things as soothing as really, really getting through gnarly grout on your kitchen floor. But I love that these are here because I love the idea that, I mean, making crispies, you gotta stay clean, right? You gotta keep your kitchen clean. You gotta keep your work environment clean. I don't know if Jessica herself is like a neat freak, but I know that I can be in certain rooms of my house and I would literally, literally be dead without these. Okay, the next item I've got in the Jessica Sissing box is, what's this? Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's about this. Ooh, ooh. Oh my goodness. It's called an Aj, Ajnamat pillow. An Ajnamat pillow. Ooh, it's organic, sustainable, and beautiful. Right? Am I right? Is this just a pillow? What's going on here? Awakening the Ajna opens realms of possibility and beauty. You discover you are more than you know and even more than you imagined you could be. I could use that. Our mats are spiky, but that's what makes them so good. Always ease yourself into positions wearing a thin layer of clothing. Oh, oh, so this is like a quasi like acupuncture kind of thing. Yeah, wow, this is badass. Okay, so we're gonna, guys, I had to really figure this out. This pillow, you know, they're flowers, and I kind of love that they're like, ooh, it's pink, and they're flowers, and this is kind of nice. Bam, it's like a weapon, right? You could use this, right, someone on the subway. I do believe it's aromatherapy as well. This smells bomb. So this just seems like a therapy pillow. I, it says when you lie your face down on it to be careful. I just love when pillows come with a warning. So let me just, let me just, Oh wow, so do I have stuff on the side of my face? So this is one of those things where like, they do feel kind of sharp. When you put enough of your body on it, it like distributes it, so it does feel kind of good. She's on her feet all day making crispies. Do you know how hard it is to stir those vats of like hot marshmallow and crispies? But she's got a full body one that she just kind of flops down on and then they have to kind of like, like unfurl her from after the next day. But I do, I really like this. I've never seen one of these before. I've never seen one of these before. And I hope that people who do use these absolutely love them. Jessica, you are a badass for this pillow. Someone just asked what I think Noodle would think of this pillow. And he likes comfy things, right? So even if he didn't like this part, we just flip it over. He could put his sweet little aching bones on this, and he could put his sweet little head here, and I could sleep on the ground. The next item we have is, it's a very small copper pot. I was informed by my producer, she put a very small copper pot in here. 
to symbolize a larger copper pot. So it's very clearly what's important to her is her cookware. I also think this is adorable and I'm gonna put it right by Noodle like he's cooking a very small, sort of like a small, maybe like a succotash or something. I really do, I love this because once again, she wasn't able to send like a massive, you know, quart copper pot to us. Just the fact that she makes all of her products and she's so thoughtful with the way that she crafts these, right? It's not just that I'm gonna make a burger or something that looks like a burger. It's I'm gonna make something that looks like a burger and the onions look like onions and the pickles look like pickles. This woman really, really cares about her art. Um, and anyone, once again, anyone that's in any kind of restaurant business or food business, you gotta love your pots, right? I got a cast iron a year ago. So did you guys know about cast iron pan maintenance? Yeah, you're not supposed to wash cast iron pans with dish soap, God forbid. You're supposed to clean them with salt and a rag. Uh, and then you're supposed to also case them in oil every now and then to keep them seasoned. Uh, and that's what I know about cast iron pans. So you are so welcome. There you go. The next item we've got in the Jessica Siskin box is, ooh, ooh, power bars, peanut butter power bars. These are Lenka power bars. What I love about these is you gotta stay energized throughout your day. She's a Rice Krispie maven, can you imagine? You're in the middle of a kitchen, you are leaning over a vat of molten marshmallow, and you start to drool, you start to tell someone about it. You can't do that, you can't compromise that, not in front of a molten thing of marshmallows. You might never be Mr. Crisp again after that. So what you have to do is make sure that you've got something to keep your blood sugar up, to keep your energy high. And I love keeping peanut butter bars on me, especially ones that are made with organic granola and pure clover honey, um, are that you also know what you're putting into your body, right? Like she works in food, uh, you, you know, she's very transparent with obviously all her ingredients that she uses for Rice Krispie treats. And I think it's also really important to take care of yourself and to know that if you need a snack throughout the day, that you can go grab, you know, a piece of chocolate or eight Rice Krispies, or you can do something a little more sensible. Like my favorite snack in the middle of the day is a granola bar like this, and like Noodle's favorite snack in the middle of the day is like half of a rotisserie chicken. Anyone in business, keep something on hand that's gonna help keep you energized throughout your day, because coffee's not gonna do it. It will do it, but you will crash at some point. That three o'clock hump is real. The next item we've got is, ooh, a portable charger. <laughs> Ah, yes, a portable charger. This is one of my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite things I've gotten in the past couple of years. Um, it's a big one too. It's got five times extra battery life. So this is perfect for anyone on the go, which I can imagine is kind of anyone nowadays. If you're traveling a lot, if you even travel a little, it's so nice to just have this accessible to you. The only problem is you have to remember to charge it. So that's something that I have to keep telling myself. Just because you have the portable charger does not mean it will charge anything. You have to charge it. But this is a super practical thing. I can understand why this would be useful to Jessica in a hundred different ways and to anyone as well. If you enter to win this box, obviously you get one of these. If you don't have one, you should run out and get one right away. They're fabulous. Okay, the last item we have in the Jessica Siskin box is, is it called Bluets? 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 Oh, it's about blues music. Wait, oh, it's her lifelong obsession with the color blue. Okay, so this, I'm kind of trying to still figure my way through. It's called Bluets or Bluettes by uh, Maggie Nelson. It winds its ray through depression, divinity, alcohol, and desire, visiting along the way with famous blue figures, including Joni Mitchell, Eve Klein, Leonard Cohen, and Andy Warhol. The narrator sets out to construct a sort of pillow book about her lifelong obsession with the color blue. I think what this is, is it speaks to her artistry. I think that what's really cool about this book is it speaks to how thoughtful she is about the kind of work that she creates. And you know, I don't know if she's made like an Eve Klein crispy yet, but I do love the idea that even with sort of a an art form that's so unconventional, like making a Rice Krispie sculpture, you know, she still takes the time to, to really sort of immerse herself in art and in culture and in color theory. Noodle would also enjoy this book, and not just because we're working on reading and this looks like a kind of thin one that I know he could get through. Dogs, everyone thinks they're colorblind. Dogs are not actually colorblind. Dogs can't see every single color that we can. They cannot see anything on the red spectrum, but dogs can see everything on the blue and yellow spectrum. So the bluets could mean something to Noodle. He could read this and he can go, ah, yes. And he would understand it because he can see these colors and absorb the impact on them. Which I think might be why he's sort of in this kind of posture right now. Maybe he cracked into this book a little bit. He got a little too deep into Andy Warhol and he's just feeling a little like, okay, 
you know, the weight of the world was a little too much for a genius at that time. Wasn't it, Noodle? Okay, that's it. That is the Jessica Siskin box. I'm so excited to be able to share this box with you guys. If you liked this video and you want to see more of it or content like it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring the bell to get notifications when new content goes live. If you are interested in learning more about Jessica, you can look her up on Instagram at Mr. Underscore Crisp. Her work is absolutely stunning. But for a Noodle, for me, honestly, and for the legacy of Billie Holiday, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe on YouTube if you did like watching this video and be sure to tune in next time.